So today I'm going to show you how to paint one of our artificial bird heads. Today we're working on a mallard. And we sell these heads here at Rocky Mount Materials. They're very lightweight. They're easy to work with. We have good detail on them. And they take pastels very well. So today we're going to paint this mallard head using only pan pastels. And we'll see what we come up with. So starting off, I like to take some black on just a light brush and I like to go in some of these cracks and crevices to start with. Kind of there at the top of the bill. Get into the nostril, detail around the nostril. You don't need to be careful doing this because we're doing this as an antiquing method. Go ahead and get up in the lamella there. And then also in this area here underneath. So that's all I'm doing to antique. Now I've got some lacquer thinner here or acetone, whatever you prefer. I'm going to apply a little bit on a paper towel and we're going to wipe off the excess. I'll show you another method you can do if you don't have lacquer thinner or acetone. So there, as you can see, we've got a little more depth going into our main painting of this bill. Underneath, as you can see, something you can do I've got some triple O steel wool. I believe it's triple O, triple or double. And you could come over here and you could buff that out if there's some areas that you couldn't quite get off with the acetone. And just to give you a little more highlighted features on the bill. So now we're ready to start. I've got yellow ochre here. You could start with a lighter yellow if you wanted to. But we're just going to get right into it, the yellow ochre. And then I've got these applicating sponges that you can get. They're similar to a makeup brush. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. And it really helps to apply paint a little more thick and even than you would find on doing just a regular paintbrush. Usually when I do a head, I'll do two or three layers depending on the species and the colors. So with this one we'll end up doing two layers. I'll just flip over to the underside. Go ahead and get the yellow areas. Now I'm just going to go over to a little bit lighter shade of yellow. This would be just yellow shade. Simple enough. Apply a little bit more onto this head before I clear coat it. So once I have my yellow on there, I'm going to take a smaller applicating sponge and we're going to go ahead and work with the black. We're going to do this nail up top here. And I've used this sponge so much it's starting to fall apart, so I'm going to have to change it out pretty soon. Use it here. We could get a little black just going slightly up the side of the bill, not much. And then maybe a little bit by the nostrils. And then underside, I'll go ahead and do that nail under there. And then we'll finish. 
finish off with this area here by the throat. Okay, so we're going to do a clear coat on this. I get this stuff from Hobby Lobby, just acrylic, clear, clear acrylic coating, and it's in matte. Make sure you don't get anything that's gloss or satin, or your head will look fake and shiny. Now we're just going to do a, a quick even coat on this. We're not going to go super heavy. We just want to lock our colors in. Now, I'm going to let this dry for just a few seconds, and I'm going to do my next layer almost immediately. Since I went light enough on this, it's not dripping wet, but still a little moist that you can get your pastels to stick to the head better. So as you can see now that I have that clear coat on there, how easy that paint basically pastes on there. If the head's too wet with the clear coat, it'll just smear. So you have to find that balance of time where it's not too wet but it hasn't dried so much that it doesn't apply as well as you'd like it to. So I'm going to go ahead with my black sponge again and hit my black areas. And you can see how much better on this second layer that this black is taking. Just finish off the nail real quick. Get this underside finished up. And since on this bottom part, by this throat, there are a lot of channels and cracks, if you're having a hard time getting your paint in there, you can take a lighter brush, like a paint brush, and go ahead and get in those areas that are a little harder to get to. Maybe like right there in the corner of the mouth to get some a little more even coat on here. We'll come up and just finish around the sides and then get a little in the nostrils. The paint brushes are good to do a little blending too. And then on my mallards, I like to take a little bit of gray over here with my pan pastels and just right around this nail. You could do gray. Maybe we'll try a little green to see what it looks like. It's very subtle. And then I'm just going to take a little black, go up my sides here, clear coat that, and we're done. Same as the first time, we're not going overly heavy. And you can see when you clear coat, a lot of your depth in that bill comes back. And instead of having a flat look, you get some detail and some character.